Good day and welcome back to another Dibzy Doken Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the newest legendary banner that has come to Dibzy Doken Metal Global and discuss whether you should save or summon on this banner currently at this time. So previously this was going to be a legendary summon banner featuring a brand new Janemba unit but it seems like things have been changed up on Global yet again in anticipation of the new Super Dragon Ball Heroes banner that will be coming out. So the first featured legendary unit is the Worthy Rivals category lead Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. So this Vegeta is a pretty good unit. Uh, he has a very solid passive having featuring attack and defense plus gaining attack and defense when he is gaining key and this can stack up to 70%. Uh, he also gets this attack and defense once he fires his super attack, so he's one of those units that greatly kind of revels in being in the second slot. Of course he has an active skill and a lot of his passive is dependent on having a Majin Buu Saga Goku on the team. Fortunately there are some pretty strong units for that with the physical Goku from the Extreme Z Hero Extermination area being a super solid pairing partner for this Vegeta. So Vegeta is pretty good, he's from last year's download celebration, uh, essentially he was the featured LR for the second part of last year's download celebration and he's an incredibly good unit, uh, so he's nothing against him, he's very very good. Uh, Goku, the second featured unit, uh, is actually a Super Saiyan category 130% lead uh, and he's a nuking type unit starting with attack and defense of 58%. He gains attack and defense for every key sphere that he obtains plus he gains additional attack if there are Super Saiyans that are in the same turn as him. This guy is a very very cool unit, he can reach some pretty awesome and some pretty high attack stats uh, even in his 55% state. On his super attack he actually seals and attack lowers and defense lowers at, with his 18 key and if you want to opt for his 18 key, I mean his 12 key, it will raise his defense. So he's a nice versatile unit with a interesting tool set. The thing about this Goku is he's also on the movie heroes category, so if you're looking for a movie heroes unit, he is a unit that can really help you out. The rest of the banner features some helpful utility units like SS2 Angel Goku, who's a great healer and a fantastic new king and stacking unit, the Patara lead Kefla, who's due an easy A on global anytime soon, uh, then we also have the strength Gotenks, a wonderful support once he EZAs for the fusion category who gives a support buff when he is facing more than one enemy and also has a stun. We have the physical Gotenks who has a seal uh, and essentially can stack his defense up multiple times and can get it to a really good height, also a great unit for the fusion category. We then have the tech SS2 Angel Goku, uh, he is a pretty good unit, uh, a very solid support category unit from the Hero Extermination event EZAs. We have the Planet Namek Saga Support Piccolo recently added with the download celebration and we have the Majin Buu Saga Superclass unit support in the form of TN. Very very awesome unit, super powerful even at 55% and a really good Earthlings sub lead. And we have Nail, who is a Namekians category lead, pretty high as well for his sub lead, 150%. And well, I've used him in three God of Destruction events, so he is pretty damn awesome. We also have AGL Mai, who is a very, very good AGL class or type support. And then, yeah, uh, we have, I think, rounding out the strength of Gotenks, who nothing special about him so far. But it's probably one of those units that's due in easy A anytime soon now. That brings the total amount of featured units to 12, which makes it a pretty big legendary banner. Obviously there's two featured LRs in that pool, and both are pretty decent, so you have a 1 in 6 chance of getting an LR. My thing is, um, when discussing the units on this banner, with heroes around the corner, uh, and with this legendary banner not really featuring anything new, 
Uh, I wouldn't really say there's a massive benefit to summoning on the spanner. If you're absolutely desperate for a worthy rivals category lead, then maybe you can summon on the spanner because Vegeta is a great lead for that category. And if you have a really weak super physical team, Vegeta can really, really strengthen that quite a bit. Um, but beyond that, there's really no reason to summon on the spanner. Uh, you do get gold coins, and as always, gold coins can be used to purchase any previously summonable LR. But we will be getting gold coins and more legendary banners in future with new LRs being featured. Um, the Janemba that's supposed to be here will be one of them. So from my angle, um, just looking at this banner, anticipating the Heroes banner, anticipating the Global Year End banners, anticipating any potential Global First units, I just think it's better off to save your stones. Unless you're absolutely desperately close to an LR you want, you're like one or two summons away, or you really, really, really need Vegeta, then I would say don't summon. There's no tickets, there's no discounts, there's no real alternative benefits. But let me know your thoughts down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, and bye.